This is an example of um, Harpoon 3 Professional running on a Vista machine and with a contemporary um, environment, in this case um, the current day uh, off the Horn of Africa, having a look at broad area maritime surveillance and piracy prevention. So let's, start it, let's get it starting to run. Okay, uh, naval operations are inherently slower than air operations, so we're running it at 5 minutes, which is 300 times real time. Having a look around to see what we can see. Tanker, naval tanker, an Anzac frigate, Los Angeles submarine, and here we have the piracy targets, uh, an LNG merchant ship, tank, big tanker, another one, and down here a cruise liner and um, a merchant ship, fishing ship, an identified pirate, and then we see it, a Zodiac operating in the water, probably acting as a scout for the pirate ship. Now we can change the point of view, let's have a look from Somalia's point of view. And we see that um, Somalia is now blue and US is red and we've just shown the limited view so this is the sort of intelligence that the Somalian ships would have passing position reports back to each other. We can zoom in. Now we'll show all again so that we can see everything. And we see the Zodiac is very near the LNG tanker. So it's probably within visual distance now. Uh, the rapidly moving target coming in the bottom left of the screen is a Global Hawk um, which is surveilling the area, broad area of maritime surveillance. That is there. Now if we just zoom in a bit here so that we can get a closer picture. One of the things about uh, Harpoon 3 is that it's possible to change the scale and the time. So now we've gone from a thousand miles across the screen, gone to about 60 miles across the screen. The ships are probably 10 miles apart or less and closing. Now it's all starting to happen so we'll close down. Now watch the red um, ship. If it changes colour it's been boarded. And watch on the bottom um, the message screen been detected, in closer, slow down even further, and it says it's been successfully boarded and the colour of the um, the energy tank has changed to the smelling blue, so it's been successfully boarded by the pirates. Now we need to zoom out again so that we can see what's happening. Now, speed it up a bit. Now there'll be an attempt to recover the ship, and um, I suspect that the Anzac frigate will be dispatched. So you can look at the NATO forces. It's the LNG tanker. And this one, it's you see, it's at full speed and it says task is intercept contact. So this frigate has been ordered to intercept the, um, the uh, tanker with an aim to uh, recovering the vessel. Global Hawk watching that all over the top, flying a closer pattern so it should be able to keep all the entities in uh, contact all, all the time. Now, yeah, just to this is um, just the intercept closing. It takes several hours for the ANZAC to get uh, into range. The trouble with these areas is lots of ships, lots of pirates, and few protection vessels. So the action can take uh, place uh, quite a few miles away from, the, in this case, the frigate. So it might take eight, ten or so hours at full speed to get down to the um, ship to assist the ship in distress.
Okay, but it's closing. See time's moving past rapidly. Okay, so come down to a minute. And zoom up. And um, there, um, because of time limitations, we may pause the um, simulation. And um, but what would normally happen is if there's a successful reboarding, the LNG tank will change back in colour. And that's the end of this simulation.